In this video we're going to have a look at the intersection and curve fitting tools as a way of refining X topology surfaces. Normally if you need to refine a surface you often have to introduce the new points manually and that can mean that you destroy the original shape of the surface. With this method you can fit new curves to the surface and then insert that into the surface definition in the right, right way so you don't necessarily destroy the definition of the surface, the shape that you've worked quite a few hours on in, in the process of refinement. So we'll look at this scenario in two stages. The first stage will go through the process of doing it manually. We'll insert a curve by digitizing to the curves that are already in the definition and through that process we'll see that the surface changes as we add that definition in. In the second case we'll go through the process of automatically inserting and fitting a curve to the definition that we already have and that will reduce the amount of change that happens. So here is the area that we want to refine. Now we can start this process by basically digitizing a curve into the definition. In doing so we're attaching to the sections and that's not necessarily what we want because we want to drive the sections with the shape of the curve that we've added in. So what we need to do now is detach the curve from the sections and attach the curves to that new curve that we've added in. And in doing so we start to change the surface shape. And now we're OK to edit it, but we've made some changes. In this second stage, we can use a more automated way of attaching that curve into the definition. Use the intersection and curve fitting tools. We can add a curve, which at present is only sampling the other definition curves that we have in the whole form. Using the lofting, which has other curves, we can get a lot more sample points. Going through the process again, once we see that the curve is generated, we get a lot more sample points. Uh, we're also getting 13 control points on the curve. We can reduce that down to 6 to make the design more manageable. We can have a look at the curvature. And if we choose to, we can also fare the shape of that curve. Now when we add, we can also get the other curves to attach to this curve that we're about to add in. So now we've added in that curve with minimal change of shape and it's attached to the definition in the right way. So this makes the whole process very easy in terms of refining the curve network to our own needs.